In the halls of old Darksmoke, a young and princely Granomir sat in bemused contemplation. Two humans stood among the glittering trappings of his treasure hoard. Granomir was a dragon, a great winged beast of red scales and magical secrets. And as a dragon, indeed first among them, he valued many things. Humans were not among these things. I regret only that you must leave so soon. Perhaps we'll meet again. I'd love it. The man, a king of men named Tarvin, was admittedly one of the only exceptions to Granomir's general feeling towards humans. He was a poor sort of king, only a warrior and diplomat, and not a wizard, as most of Eternia's principal kings were. Despite this failing, however, he'd always been kind towards dragons, and never expected anything in return. For this reason, Granomir was willing to call Tarvin friend. The woman was a mystery. She radiated power, a power Granomir seemed to recognize, though he couldn't place it. She'd known him when they'd first met, and even claimed that her brother was a close friend of Granomir's. At first this had seemed impossible, until they'd all discovered that she was from Eternia's future. As she and Tarvin had talked, Granomir had probed her with his mind and his magic. She was incredibly powerful, seemingly awash with a dozen different ancient and secret magics, each tantalizingly familiar, though he still could not say how he knew them. Now he peered into her energy more deeply, and to his surprise he discovered that her abilities all seemed to stem from or at least be bound by the simple jewel-hilted sword she carried on her back. Very strange indeed. And now, and now Sheila, we drive us have a say. Here goes nothing. We have a saying also, for the honor of great gold. As she walked through the time portal, Granomir was glad that she was gone. Interesting though she was, she was still a human. Soon too, Tarvin would leave. Well enough. Human friends were best had in small doses. Well, that's it then. I'll probably never see her again. It's hard to believe that someone so amazing could come into your life. And then just leave as quickly. Granomir, Granomir, are you listening to anything I'm saying? So something is very wrong. As soon as the time portal closed, something in the fabric of the universe shifted. By the powers, how could I have been so blind? What is it, Granomir? she By being here, by using her powers here, she has awakened the powers of Grayskull. 